The U.S. Congress negotiators on Thursday moved to put off until after the November 6 election decisions on future funding for President Donald Trump's multi-billion dollar southwest border wall. As lawmakers advance legislation funding, many other government programs, racing against a September 30th deadline when the current physical year ends, Republicans and Democrats were showing unusual cooperation in trying to fund most federal agency functions and avoid an embarrassing government shutdown about a month before congressional elections. A trio of massive spending bills were making their way through Congress to fund military, energy, and a range of other programs that otherwise would run out of money on October 1st. But the House Appropriations Committee Chairman Rodney Fenderlinson said that some decisions will have to be put off until December 7th after the congressional elections. That means that Congress would continue to fund agencies such as the Department of Homeland Security at current physical year levels on a temporary basis. In recent weeks, Trump has threatened a government shutdown unless he got the money he wanted to build a border wall along the U.S.-Mexico border to keep out illegal immigrants and legal drugs out of the United States. A White House spokeswoman would not say whether Trump would go along with Congress plans if lawmakers did not immediately meet his demand for more border wall funding. Since Mexico has balked out and Trump instead has had to turn to Congress for construction funds, lawmakers provided $1.57 billion this year for physical barriers and related technology along the southwest border. Some have estimated the total cost of the border would be more than $24 billion. So let me go ahead and give my thoughts on this and first say that, well, I'm not surprised at this at the slightest. Because you have to remember this, a lot of people in Congress, rather they be Republicans or Democrats, are all funded by the exact same people. And those exact same people are people who are heavily invested in companies or own companies that are heavily invested in cheap labor provided by Mexico. So it is in their best interest to keep that border wall from not being built. I mean, need I say more? That's basically what's really going on here. So I think it would be best for Trump to shut down the government before the midterm elections, get the people really wild up, and then after that, point the guns directly at Congress. Point them at the Democrats and the Republicans. Don't forget that. Because these Republicans in office are just as bad as these Democrats. They're neocons. They're backed by the same people who are backed by corporations who are invested in cheap labor. And they get that cheap labor from Mexico. So of course they don't want to fund the border wall. It's no wonder they want to delay it and push it back as far as they can. And I guarantee you by the time December comes around, they're still going to be planting their feet in the dirt and making every excuse under the sun on why they can't fun the border wall. One of the most important things that America could do right now is build the wall. Because why do we need to fund the FBI? Why do we need to fund the CIA? Why do we need to fund the Homeland Security Department? Why do we need to fund all these stupid little agencies that you don't even know about? Well, why do we need to fund them? Because it beats funding the border wall. So I think it would be in Trump's best interest to shut down the government, blame it on Congress like he's done in the past, and it has worked. When the government is shut down, the people don't blame Trump, they blame the people in office, which is both Republicans and Democrats. And the Republicans are making sure that that border wall isn't being built either, because they don't want it built, because again, they're funded by people who don't want it built. People like the Koch brothers and whatnot. You know, it's a good thing that John McCain is out, and we don't have to worry about his moronic neoconness. But that's just one of many. We have to do what we need to do to vote out these people out of office come November. The midterm elections are just two months away. And it is up to us to vote these idiots out of office so that Trump can do what he needs to do to make this country better. Look at what Trump is doing with the economy. Four point GDP growth per quarter. So our economy is on an uptrend. 
But the one thing that these neocons and neoliberals don't want seeing happen is that border wall being built, which is something that we need to change. We need to vote these people out of office if they don't want to play ball. Because these people in office, they don't have the American dream, the American way of life, American people at their best interest. These people in office, the neocons and old school rhino Republicans and Democrats and whatnot, their interest is in themselves. Their interest is in the big donors who bankroll their campaigns. That is where their interest lies. And that is why it is important for us Americans, all of us, to vote these people out of office. When the midterm elections come around, we must make sure that we vote out these neocons and neo-republicans, neo-democrats, and neoliberals. Because the longer they stay in office, the longer it is our economy is going to take to do better. Now, we are doing amazing, even with these people in office. Imagine how good we can be if they weren't standing in Trump's way. Just imagine how good our economy would be. And you have to ask yourself, why are these people standing in Trump's way? Well, because they're not for America. They don't care about America's success. They don't care about any of that. They only are self-absorbed people who do not care about the lives of the people who voted them in. Now, that's just politics, and that usually happens when it comes to the old-style uh, candidates. But that is why we need to vote them out. It's up to you guys to do that. So when it comes to midterm elections, be sure to vote out these Democrats and these Republicans. Make no difference between the two. But you guys let me know what you thought about this in the comment section below. And that's it for this video. Peace out, guys.